This has the original pilot episode of Jimmy Neutron, Runaway Rocket Boy. I can't show you what every character looks like, but a certain character is going to be mind blowing when you see him. Let's check it out. Welcome home, Rep Pack. It's your boy Marcus here, and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, a channel where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, and I'm also trying to create the world's biggest SpongeBob and Nickelodeon collection. But I also have a dog that transcended all forms of media. We have barks of her on cassette, we have videos of her on VHS. This is my dog, Daisy, and yeah, she is like my best friend ever. Damn it, we have it on DVD and digital. Dog's been around forever. But I hope you guys are having an amazing day, and if you guys aren't, you you know the drill, Nickelodeon DVD flip? Nickelodeon designed this DVD with Nick Skip technology. It's about to get a whole lot brighter red pack because your boy is here. And today is going to be so much fun because we are going to be heading to Walmart and doing one of your guys' favorite series where we go and buy out absolutely everything. Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, Disney, 90s, 2000s, anything that fits the vibe. You guys have told me that Walmart is the place I should be going for all my DVDs because I went to FYE and do you remember they had Rugrats and like Gravity Falls? But they were like for almost $100. It was like for the whole series, right? Yeah, yeah. but I mean still, that's insane. Oh, I mean, it's a lot of money. <laughs> maybe it's SpongeBob, I would pay an ungodly amount for that. But they have them at Walmart for $40 compared to the 70 at FYE. Uh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah, and they've got the new Patrick Star show on DVD, quite a few awesome things. We're gonna be looking for those things today. But anyway, let's hop in the car, let's see what we can find. Who knows, maybe we can even find our little stolen uh, display like last time. Let's get into the car and see if we can make that happen. All right guys, so we just got to Walmart. I didn't film the drive over here, but the Walmart's right there. I can't tell you why that's the only place where it's raining. It's, oh my god, is that thunder? Yeah, that's lightning. Oh my the thunder god. comes after. Jesus Christ, okay. We're at the Dusty Dusty at Walmart, but they do have the deals, as you guys always know. We're gonna have to be scrappy while we're in there. Okay guys, we just made it in here, and it is super crowded, because apparently, like, school starts tomorrow or something. <laughs> or like. now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this is kind of sick. They have this, like, oh, yeah, this, but it doesn't really do anything. Like, you move it, but they don't really do anything. It's, like, dimensional, I like Yeah, that. that is pretty cool. I like that as well. And a little bit of space in there, but this thing is 10 bucks, so we'll maybe get it but we're gonna put it in the car for right now this is the only one i found was peach i thought maybe they'd have some other ones as well but we saw this one at least i feel like this is even something like they had like when we were a kid oh yeah that kind of feels like something i could have found back then so it's just cool to see all this stuff in stock not a lot of nickelodeon stuff it's still fun to see i mean i was hoping that we'd find something because remember when we went back to school like you'd find freaking cartoon network binders spongebob True. wars fairly odd parents but these kids today they are grown up they got tiktok stars on binders <laughs> <laughs> no they don't even have like designs like it's just like this like you want a floral pattern or you want, I don't even know what that is. Just any kind of, just like oh, general sure. cyberpunk. Cyber something. Cyber sunset. Sunset spilled with a C. Dude, dude, what the heck? I was wrong. There's an entire Rugrats Bojack. with a binder, a folder, a notebook, and a, a smaller notebook. Dude, that is so amazing to be able to find this. In 2022, we are finding Rugrats merchandise. You know, the trick though, is that like, once you see one item, that's where they are. So we got it. <laughs> we're in the, we're the hot spot. That's such a good deal to 10 bucks this versus this for 10 bucks come Bruh. on yeah, I mean, we'll grab Rosa right now. We ain't got much, but <laughs> <laughs> that was freaking sick. I cannot believe we just found that. All right, guys, we're gonna keep looking around. Apparently, we gotta look in every nook and cranny. Let's do it. This is a big mug, dude. <laughs> oh yeah, I just have one cup of coffee a day. But dude, we have been looking for Popsies for a while. Our Walmart doesn't have them, but this Walmart does. Parker keeps saying, oh, it's a failed product. They don't sell them because no one wants them. I said it once. Look at me. I'm someone, <laughs> kind of, <laughs> and I want one. Oh, dude, you gotta get this. Oh, my God. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Dude, and then it pops up the Infinity Gauntlet. Kudos. <laughs> That's sick. But the one that I need is this one right here. Oh, oh he has the starship in his eye. And it says, you're out of this world. That is sick. Get that it? Is he's sick. a space ranger. He is. Yep. You he see, is. You, you got an accent now that I say, said that, you know? You, yeah, I'm, I was gonna get this regardless. <laughs> So obviously we came here for Walmart DVDs, but dude, this thinking chair is on sale for 30 bucks. It's just we don't have the space for this. That's a lot of space. That's a lot of space, yeah, exactly. This is a maybe though, for 30 bucks, I almost wanna pull the trigger on it though, just cause it's like, it would be so cool to be able to put like, I don't know, my own black kid on there. <laughs> no, but like, you know, that's not my son. But like, to be able to put like plushies on there or something like that, that would be kind of sick. And there's storage in here too. Oh, storage? You're yeah. almost sold. That justifies it. If that we don't find anything else worth it, we'll come back for this. I told you we'll be two time felons, baby. 
Okay, so this guy is on sale, it looks like, and it's Sonic, but it looks like you actually can push this button and it pulls him around the trail. And of course, this Green Hill Zone, because it's like the only place in Sonic that you know how to make for some reason. So <laughs> we're gonna grab this one either way though, because it's dope. Let's go ahead and put it in the cart. I'm not gonna lie though, man, uh, we're gonna check the DVD section, that's what we came here for, but that uh, thinking chair is looking mighty uh, comfy. That's true, thinking. I can only probably fit one of my butt cheeks in that. Probably. <laughs> All right, dude, we found some awesome pieces right here. We got, okay, they're not this. That's not Oz. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Like, that makes that look good. Yeah, but these are the McFarlane ones. They actually have them on the shelf right now. We got Uncle Ibro and also Aang. So now we can complete the collection with another two figures. Dude, I think these are some of the best form factors for oh, yeah. Avatar characters so far. They just don't look weird. Yeah, this is the set to collect. So we're going to pick up both of those two. That was an amazing find today. No, 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 we leave this one. We, we, you can leave that one. You don't need every sign that's takeable. How do you think we get one of those entertainment cubes? Okay, guys, so we found the last one. We need the Patrick Star show, but we found this one, and we did find Rugrats, but I actually just looked it up on Amazon, and they have it for $38. Every dollar counts. Every dollar counts. So we might wait on that guy, but let's see if we can find the Patrick Star show, but we gotta get SpongeBob Camp Coral season one on DVD. Okay, we got another one for the bag, and that is the Rugrats season one of all you won. This is the new Paramount show, only available on Paramount plus streaming services, but now you can get it on DVD as well. We're gonna pick that one up as well, because it's only freaking $12. $12 isn't too bad for a whole season of a show. So we're gonna go ahead and grab this. I actually haven't finished the show yet, so I'm excited to finish it. All right, I also found this called King Tweety. I've never seen this show in my life, but it looks really, really cool. If you guys have watched this show and you like it, let me know down below. I'll probably check it out. Wait, what? <laughs> said, you said it was time. <laughs> the decisions were made, okay? I didn't want it anymore. <laughs> we found the Rugrats DVD. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie. The Blue Scoots chair is starting to look a little uh, firm and uncomfortable. Really? Because we got the Jimmy Neutron series we do not have for only $40. That was 60 at the FYE. I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy for sure, but let's go ahead and check and see if we can find anything else. Because they do have Cat Dog, they have Wild Farm Bears, but we already have those ones. So we can leave that. But let's go ahead and check out the rest of the stuff over in the collectible section. Dude, what is it with like every single time we come to get Funko Pops, we can never find a single, like a single cartoon related Funko Pop. There's always a bunch of boring people. All right, I think we might get these because you know what? This, he, he might be doing it. <laughs> he could be, he might be doing the thing. <laughs> so we might grab this. We're going to hook it onto the side here as a maybe. Okay guys, so we checked out for everything, like the graphic t-shirt section. So you guys can say, we've been trying at the stores, but they just don't have any shirts for Nickelodeon or even really anything cartoon themed. And they have a speed. Jam one is pretty cool, but I mean, I could live without that one. We'll keep on looking, see if we can find anything else. Gotcha. Down there. Saw Plankton's eye. Oh, we have this one already. Nice, though. We oh, do have man. this one. This is the spray paint one. It's hard to tell. What does this say? It's a beautiful day. Don't ruin it, Parker. I'm, I'm trying not to. <laughs> but I just really want to punch you in the face right now. <laughs> Excuse me for a sec. Okay, guys, we loaded it up. We didn't find anything Nickelodeon to steal, but I did steal this Pokemon <laughs> display box. But we're gonna go ahead and go now to Five Below because it's right over there. I didn't realize it. We're gonna do another hunt over there because I feel like we're gonna find some awesome stuff. We haven't been to that one in a long time. Let's head over there. But for you guys, we're gonna head back to the cavern. Let's do it. Okay, guys, so we are back from Walmart. I didn't get a bag because I kind of took this thing as a bag. So we're gonna go ahead and go through all of this stuff. That was an unbelievable trip. And most importantly, we got some more DVDs to the collection. So let's check it out. First off, man, I gotta say, of everything thing we found today, this was the most shocking. Cause I mean like we could expect to see some Avatar, we've seen those there before, but this is just a perfect representation of Nickelodeon spreading their wings. They are back in the back to school section with this whole bundle deal. So this was all $8. Nice. You know that this notebook alone at Hot Topic would be like $10.99. Yeah, just for the nostalgic purpose. Yeah, they have the capability of making affordable stuff. We've realized this. It's just that they always have it at like Box Lunch, Hot Topic, more premium retailers. So Walmart's helping out the collectors on a budget. I love it. Let's go ahead and pop this guy open. First up here, we have a notebook. So it says, we want Reptar on it with the roar coming from Reptar. It looks like a comic strip design. I love this thing so much. If I was a kid, I would have flipped out about this notebook. Obviously, there's nothing on the inside because this would be for back to school. Some of the notebooks we get, they're more like adult-esque, so it's like for notes. I don't know, what if adults write in paper? <laughs> Tax identification numbers. Guess what adults do, I don't know. I don't really write anything down. Then next, oh my, I love that these are all Reptar themed, dude. That's perfect. 
So right here, this is a journal. This is a notebook. This is like Maximilian Pegasus with the Toon World right here, but it's the Reptar World. That's sick. <laughs> yeah, so obviously it's them playing with a pop-up book, but I love their attire on. Like, I feel like they've never worn these outfits, but they're more like modern, you know? True, I almost feel like Chucky's got the Tommy stuff going on. Oh yeah, because it's got the blue with the white, because it's almost like Tommy's shirt along with his diaper. Yeah. But let's go ahead and check it out. Again, just basic pages, but the backside, oh, that's cool. We got a bunch of different Rugrats characters. Everybody's on here. But then check this out. We have a Reptar binder, which is laminated for protection. Epic picture of Reptar here. But then check it out. It's got Whoa. interior. They did not have to do that for the price of $8.98. It does have pockets as well, too. Really, really cool. And you got a freebie folder. I mean, I'm sure that was part of the price. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's definitely part of it. In this world, you ain't get no freebies. I mean, even water, you cost money these days. Literally. But right here, we got classic image. This one's been around pretty much as long as the franchise with Angelica hugging on to Chucky and also Tommy. What do we got on the inside here? Okay, so we have the same interior we had across the board, but that was just a very well put together like setup. If you're actually in like elementary school and you have that, like I'm automatically assuming you're the coolest kid there. Like you have all your shit together. That doesn't mean that you are the coolest kid there, but he thinks you are. <laughs> I think you are, Parker, and most of your school might debate it, but. <laughs> hey, my, my binders were like Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh, you had a Yu-Gi-Oh binder? Damn. Damn, nice. <laughs> All right, next items we got, let's check it out. I am gonna show no disrespect to these because these things can be damaged very easily. But we have Aang and Avatar State. Aang is the hero and spirit of the show and this adventurous 12 year old is the last Avatar and the only known survivor of the Air Nomads. You're just reading it. You're just reading it. <laughs> Hey man, I'm using the help that I got, okay? But this is Avatar State Aang. I absolutely love it. We'll read Uncle Iroh's too, but we have an Uncle Iroh figure, which Parker was super hyped about. From what you tell me, he's like the pearl of, of Avatar. In what sense? Big man. <laughs> no, it's just that he, he is a very healthy man, but not just that. He's like a character that don't make a lot of stuff for you, you're saying. So in my experience, like they make a lot of Aang, like Katara, Sokka, they put him on the posters, the binders, I mean, all that's that what stuff. I know, yeah. Yeah, and Zuko for sure. And yeah. then he's on stuff, don't get me wrong, but he's definitely the character that people absolutely love and adore but doesn't get enough like screen time all right here's an awesome uncle iroh moment on the screen right now just so we can give him a little moment of shine and again, the Avatar series is gonna be coming up very, very soon. It hasn't come to the weekend yet, but this weekend I'm gonna be trying to film that series. We're gonna be starting with book number one being Wata. All right, tell me if anything's wrong here. Uncle Iroh is a skilled firebender and serves as the mentor to Zuko. Despite his nephew's shortcomings, Iroh is the main source of humor in Zuko's ship. Yeah, beautifully said. Okay, so Aang has his air bending stick. Bruh, right. it's a staff. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I don't I love after I mean no disrespect. I just like seeing Parker's reactions to the insults. <laughs> <laughs> but we have Uncle Iroh. What is he doing with this? T bending? Yeah, T bending? <laughs> <laughs> no, he. If I had to guess, that he's actually uh, producing lightning. It got a little more interesting, didn't it? They can lightning bend? It's actually a rare ability that only certain firebenders can possibly attain. That's pretty sick. So fire can branch into lightning. That means the other ones could branch into something even better too. Then very keen. Only one way to find out. Watch the damn show. Yeah, <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I thought we are gonna transition to a shot of you on Google. <laughs> I will watch Avatar. All right, so next up we got some DVDs here. So, Jimmy Neutron, dude. Unfortunately, there is a little like damage in the front of the box here, but I think that was on all of them. But the Jimmy Neutron is going on eBay for like $80, $90 for no reason. If you guys look on Amazon, you can get it for $44 and $50 as well. I highly recommend it. But let's go ahead and throw Jimmy Neutron in there, see if we have any kind of special opening scenes, any kind of special features, all that great stuff. Let's check it out. All right, so we're opening up the disc right here, unsealing it. I want the disc to have something special because with every other complete series release, Nickelodeon's done so far. All the discs have independent graphics and stuff like that, so let's see it. Oh my god. I'm not gonna complain too much, but they did the exact same image for every DVD. Do you think if we didn't get the Walmart version, like, do you think that, like, that's why I didn't want to go there? My goodness, that was, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not okay. I just gotta things make me mad. Cut everything I said about the, having the same disc. I don't care, okay? This has the original pilot episode of Jimmy Neutron, Runaway Rocket Boy. If you were watching Jimmy Neutron, Hulu, or any of the different apps, it would start with the episode when pants attack but there was an original original pilot of jimmy neutron and you guys will not believe the graphics and i can't show you what every character looks like but a certain character who loves croissants is going to be mind-blowing when you see him let's check it out here we go so we got the opening right here brushing his teeth he's got the striped shirt look at his mom the way she's like so robotic moving his dad's face is wider the house is different 
The theme song is longer. Yeah, and it's more verses. Yeah. The whole city of Retroville looks different. Even the title card. That looks like it was made in the 70s, that title card. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait for it. Carl Weezer. What? <laughs> that is unbelievable. I am just totally in awe right now. That is just amazing. That honestly made this one of my favorite of the DVD sets we have. So, so glad we could add this one. Let's, let's go check out the other stuff we got from Walmart. This is going in my top tier favorite media in this room. Okay, next up, dude, is the Rugrats Paramount show. To be honest, guys, I have not finished this. I've only seen the first couple episodes. And at first, I was a little bit ajar. I'm not gonna lie. It was hard for me to dip from 2D to 3D because like I'm a huge Rugrats fan. I grew up with it. I never like to be that guy who's like, oh no, I don't want them to make anything new. Oh, why are they rebooting it? I personally believe that like it doesn't matter if they make a 50 million variation to the show you like. The original still exists. It's still a part of your childhood, untouched. You can still go back and watch that. It doesn't matter if they make anything new. But I didn't know if I was going to enjoy it that much. But I think I'm going to give it a second chance with this DVD right here. Yeah, if you guys have seen the new Paramount Rugrats, let me know down below what your guys' opinion of it is. But let's go ahead and check it out on the TV. See what the opening menu looks like. See if we got anything special on here. Okay, so in disc two, it does actually have a little bit more. We got the play all episode selection and special features, which contains all of the different shorts right here, which are so cool. Let's go ahead and check out Reptar in space. That sounds something really up our alley. Let's check it out and see what we got. Reptar made a breakfast burrito sized mistake. I love this. Oh! Reptar realized he was on the moon. There was Earth so close. I love this. Reptar we can't show the whole new. thing, guys, but I love this so much because it kind of humanizes Reptar a little bit. Yeah. So that one ended with Reptar not being able to get off this planet, but he did save Earth from being shrunk. But it looks like there's going to be an expansion on it, and you can only get those shorts, I presume, in this disc. So that is absolutely awesome. I'm going to be checking out those shorts as well. On screen, we have the SpongeBob shorts and also like the pilot episode where they made that a separate disc, but it's cool that they released them over each season with all the shorts. I can't wait to check them all out. And honestly, just seeing Reptar in 3D is so amazing in any form. Let's go ahead and check out the rest of the stuff we got at Walmart. Okay, so we got some more stuff left, but then we got the Camp Coral DVD, and this is season one. It doesn't come with the slip cover like season one of Rugrats does. I like the slip cover a little bit more, but we do got the season one of Camp Coral. What kind of prevented me from buying these normally is because you know it, I know it, he knows it, Ryan knows it. They're going to make a complete series DVD oh, once yeah. this show's over. That's like 100% guarantee predicting the future. Exactly, so I always kind of avoid these until the series is over, but this is a little different because it's only on Paramount Plus, meaning that if they ever take it off Paramount Plus, if you lose your subscription, internet goes out, whatever the situation is, the only way to be able to access it would be the DVD. That special features in the Rugrats one was a big game changer for me because I was like, like that makes it something you're getting not on Paramount Plus. But this, it seems like it's just the episode. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping once we pop it open, there's some special features or something like that on there. Because otherwise, there really isn't a lot of reason to get it. But either way, we're going to add it for the collection, add it to the DVD collection. And then when season two comes out, we'll get that one. So we won't need the complete series when it comes out. All right. So after those two, that's going to be hard to top. True. Because we had the pilot episode on Jimmy Neutron. And then we have bonus features on the Rugrats. Come on, Camp Coral. Don't let me down, Sponge. I mean, there is a big price gap between these products. Products, though. Yeah, it was only twelve dollars. You know what I mean? Like, how much can you expect? How much can I expect? Is it how much should you expect? <laughs> it's immeasurable. How much should I expect? You're right. But we have another barren disc here. I really, really wish they would do you know disc art like they used to back in the day, but it's okay. It seems like more modern times. This is just what they do now. So let's go ahead and put in season one, disc one. <laughs> so for this camp coral, you literally get pretty much nothing. You get the audio options, you get episode selection, and play all. It is still pretty cool that we can watch the brand new Camp Coral right here on the original Spongebob TV. That is pretty cool, I think. Even though this is 2021, it looks like it was made for this TV. Right? It's streaming right out of your nose. All right, so that's it for this one, guys. If you guys haven't seen the Camp Coral intro, it's absolutely adorable. It kind of gives me like Total Drama Island vibes, the intro a little bit, but of course the beautiful vocals of Tom Kenny as well. Next up, guys, almost forgot it, the Sonic the Hedgehog Green Hill Zone playset. So we have the other playset, and I think this is the only other one they released. So I mean, if they have other ones, we're definitely gonna try and hunt for them, but Green Hill Zone is classic, and Sonic is absolutely classic. Just the character, as soon as I see him, I get filled with joy. Let's go ahead and build this guy now. <laughs> 
it was not that hard to build at all. And just like with the other Sonic play set, the playability is not really there. They do have the little spring jump right here, which Sonic can use to like leap up here or anywhere else along his travels. But they did try to simulate Sonic would typically run up this direction, go through this loop and then come out somewhere over here. So to simulate that, they have this little wheel thing in the back you can grab onto. And do you know Sonic, how he runs? Uh, one leg after the other? No, Naruto runs. His arms go back. Oh, really? But he did that before Naruto did. And they've actually done like tests on that and like speed that a normal human can run. Doing this does not increase anything. It actually hinders your running. So right here we have Sonic and you just basically do this, which is a little bit like, <laughs> I feel like they could have done more. Oh, he fell. They could have done more, but it is supposed to be kind of a display, I think. And this was not expensive at all. It was $15, which I mean, that's literally about the same price as a Funko Pop. So if you're talking about this versus a Sonic Funko Pop, if you already got a Sonic Funko Pop, this is definitely a really cool, awesome piece to have in your collection. Imagine like a bunch of these play sets like around a shelf, you know? Oh, if you're yeah. a Sonic fan, that's like literally a whole map. So I love this thing, absolutely sick. The detailing on the grass is beautiful. And they have these little stick points that pop out, but those are actually so you could relocate your rings that you have here. But the only bad part about that though is it does leave all the other spots available and kind of like messes up the look a little bit. So I wanted them all right there. But that's a Sonic play set. Okay, and then next up we have one item left really and that is the Toy Story Popsy. This guy right here is so freaking cool. Yeah, I waited just for that. <laughs> that was literally down the whole time for that moment. So I hope that was worth it for you because it was worth it for me. They got to ruin it bragging about it. But this thing is so cool. I love this guy. I'm going to add him right next to the Woody Popsy into the collection. And of course, I did get my Pokemon container right here, which we will be using to put plushies in inside of the variety room as well. And if not, I mean, I'll just fold it down and put it in storage. Just a cool little box. I always say that you guys know the drill. I'm the one that usually forgets it. Um, I forgot to say, scan it! Alright, so everything on this side is complete series of shows. So we're adding Jimmy Neutron to our complete series setup right here, and then continuing on with the Ren and Stimpy complete series as well. This is Paramount Plus right here. Yeah. <laughs> we don't need no Paramount Plus. We got all of it right here. That is absolutely awesome. I, as a Nickelodeon fan, I need to have all of this stuff at an access point to preserve it, not just that, so I can watch it. So I'm glad that we have this. No Paramount Plus needed. Okay, so Rugrats Volume 1 Season 1 will go into the collection just like this, and we'll get the other ones as they release. If you stick around the channel, make sure you're subscribed. But what they do, Ever release a complete series, all we'll do is just take these ones out. We'll add this to the expanded DVD collection. Maybe we'll end up giving them away on whatnot or something like that. I do not know. Okay, real quick interruption. If you guys don't know already, I'm gonna be giving away all of these guys right here. The Naruto Team 7, completely signed by the voice actor crew and encapsulated along with the SpongeBob SquarePants original Funko Pop for you guys over on Comfort Cartoons. So if you guys haven't already followed me on whatnot, make sure you guys do and make sure you guys bookmark my show date so that way you guys do not miss a show when it goes live so that way you guys can actually have a chance of winning one of these and not just that just for signing up you get ten dollars for free to buy from me or anybody else and whatnot anyway let's continue on with the video but for right now we can go ahead and put it in to the collection with this little uh, sleeve here but that's where it's going in the collection let's see what else we got okay guys so we're adding in the camp coral spongebob but it's actually really cute because we have these ones right here that are representative of the movie camp coral so we're gonna put that one right in here next to the karate dvd and then we'll go ahead and put sponge right back there that is awesome Our wouldn't it be crazy if we completed the SpongeBob before we completed the whole Nickelodeon DVD section? It's crazy that there's that many. Yeah, <laughs> there is a lot, but we still have so many we're missing. All we can do is just keep checking them off the list. Okay, so for Aang and Uncle Iroh, we are starting to get a whole set of this, but like I said, guys, we are going to be working on very soon on our air temple up there where you put all of our avatar stuff. So for right now, this is going to go to the side until we have the air temple built. Okay, guys, so in this spot right here, we have all of our notebooks, folders like this. This one was sent over from our friend at Nickelodeon. This one we found at the Dollar Tree. We got a bunch of them. We're gonna add all of our folders and binders of the Rugrats one into that same spot right there. I think this would be perfect. If we need anything to write on, if we need any place to store some more paperwork and stuff, if we get Rugrats files. We're gonna add them in this binder for sure. If we have any Rugrats paperwork that we need. We put all the SpongeBob files in that container over there. So if we get any awesome Rugrats files or anything that we need to protect, we'll be putting it in this binder for sure. The rest of this is going inside here with the rest of our notebooks. Okay guys, so we are done with it. Walmart did an amazing 
amazing job. We were on the hunt for some DVDs and we found three of them, three brand new ones to add to the collection, which is huge. So thank you guys as always for coming along with me on this adventure. It's so much fun hanging out with you beautiful people. Make sure you guys smack that like button before you guys leave. Do not leave this video without hitting the like button, guys. I would greatly appreciate it. It helps me out so much. And leave a comment down below telling me what your favorite item was today. But don't forget to check out this video right here, which is the last epic video on this channel. When you click on it, it's going to put you on a playlist of a bunch of other awesome videos. We have to add so many amazing things in the collection. I don't want you to miss out on it. I'll see you guys over there. And as always, Rep Pack, I'll see you beautiful people in the next one. Adios. Boop.